You're welcome. Um, so, okay, so I ne I just need to wait until I find Beckett now. That's it. I just need to find Beckett. If I can find... Be where oh, okay. That could be a problem, couldn't it? <sighs> Why do I keep punching taxis every time I travel? Every time I travel... Not every time, but half the times I travel, I end up bloody... Just. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps, like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. You do know the reason we hire you is to be that chimp, right? You are that chimp. You are the person we hire to stand there and wake everyone up if someone arrives. If you then have to have someone to tell you to do that, then why don't we just have that? We have a chimp. And if someone comes in, he could just press a bloody button. I... What? Oh, let me yeah, in. Let uh, me Mr. in. Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Shh. <laughs> no, I don't care. You keep saying things. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. So, do you want this crappy news or the uh, really, really crappy news? Or the totally crappy news that's going to drive you nuts? The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, <sighs> behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one. And that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Yeah, I'll play along. Whoa, what, what? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head they will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that nice you, image. my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Yes, I need the assistance of a group of people who can find it and help me bring it back for you. Definitely. So, didn't bring it back. It was stolen. Stolen? Stolen. Stolen? How? Who would... You go in, you take it, it becomes Gary. stolen. It's fairly simple. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Uh, mind telling me who the hell Gary is? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. Being born? Being embraced? The Nosferatu? I want him found. I want him... found. Found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Fine. I'll find Gary and the sarcophagus. When you say you want him found, you mean me, I'm assuming. Yes. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. Oh, welcome. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Thank you for the reason. And get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Yay! Escort him out. <laughs> going somewhere? Yes, we are going to Hollywood. We have got to find Isaac and have him help us find Gary. Gary! Yes, we do. I ain't seen you here before, and if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. 
So that's your next stop. Are you Gary? I don't think so. Who are you then? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. And what happens if I don't want to see Isaac? I mean, I do, but now that you've instructed me to go there, I don't. Heh, <laughs> you do. Well, I might, but now I don't. Are you going to force me there? Ha! <laughs> Waste of effort. <sighs> well, it was a waste of effort. Well, you see, now I'm going to go some... I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping now. You know why I'm going to go shopping? Because I need to buy stuff. It's critically important that I the buy... The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the dead of night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323. I'm going to do something that's extremely rude and possibly almost Looks sacrilegious. Like been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to you. She's, she's very distracting. She's very, very distracting, and um, I need to concentrate on my purchases. What's up? As I do. Uh, uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? E yeah, what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. A Five bowl bucks, of cereal. Two men. We're going to ruin the place. <sighs> so dating yourself there, dude. So dating yourself. Yeah, and the current pandemic would lend itself so much better to that name. Doesn't bear thinking about, does it? In two years, we're going to have metal bands. Yeah, oh, don't even think about it. Uh, anything else I should know? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. Okay. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girl's in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. What? Midget smuggling ring? That's a rude double entendre that I... I I'm not getting midget smuggling. Midget smuggling? What am I not getting? What image have I not seen yet in my head that I'm going to regret trying to see desperately right now? It's not coming to me. Maybe it's my naivete. Uh, no, I'll, uh, I'll go check it out. Um, uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Oh... Okay, you really have no interest in the special. No, 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 man. You should really ask me about the special. You got that look about you. Uh, okay. Oh, it's the special. I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? Yes, uh, yeah, sure. Um, ooh. I mean, again, I don't feel... Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I don't feel like I need a gun. And yet, and yet, for some reason, I feel I need that. It's probably a bad sign. Freud would probably have a lot to say about it. I don't really... Buy a few rounds. But there you go. I got a few rounds. Maybe I need to shoot a camera. Yeah, maybe I need to... You know, I mean... Yeah, that's no, fine. Okay. Thank you very much. You've been very, very helpful. That's, um... It's a cult. Oh. This... What? I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Okay, let's go, Chuckles! <laughs> see, the more you do this, the more I've got to... Hang around. Maybe I want to spend some time with one of these ladies. Maybe I want to go visit some seedy club. Oh, no, I can't. 
Luckily for you, I have a very delicate ear that is unfortunately potentially liable for um, legal action if it hears certain things. It's a freaky condition nobody else has. Well, a few people have. So I can't go in there. But if I could, I'd be in there boogieing down right now. Oh, he's gone, hasn't he? Oh, oh, no. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I've got something else to do. Yes, I do. I got some card for some serial killer or something. I picked up... Yes, there was a serial killer thing. This... Hi, I'm visiting somebody. Yeah, I've got a card for not there, not there, not. Okay. Is the music a bit loud for anyone else, or are you being sensitive? No, 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 no. The, the, the music is... Okay, that's wrong. They got there eventually. No, no, the music is always stupidly loud in this game. It's, everything's badly balanced. It's not you, Quatico. It is the game. Okay. Do, 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 do. Woo! Antarctic Rex, new clothes. Oh, yes, no. Yes, yes, no, absolutely, definitely. Oh, I would, no, you see, if I'd have put those new clothes on, I wouldn't have been able to get through that door, I don't think. You see, so that was deliberate, you see. I, 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 I knew that I'd need to put privacy. Anyway, you don't want to get dressed in the middle of the street or in a convenience store. I've snuck here deliberately to do, that's, it was all planned. It was all completely planned. Yep. Why can't I destroy doors? That's what I want to be. Cuthbert. Destroyer of doors. Yes, I do. Um, right, yeah, no. Um, I've got Lockpicking 5 now. So I won't be able to get in there. Which would be... Okay. And... E oh, Easter eggs. Who doesn't like Easter eggs? Likens. Okay. Hint. Who doesn't love hints? Hints. Open doors here often to the werewolf in the sky. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. That's like a spoiler hint, isn't it? And yes. Before anybody asks, I do know. <sighs> and do you know what, Cuthbert, Cuthbert, I am the sort of person who is in tune with the nether side of the universe. And so, I may, I may unravel the mysteries of the Easter egg. I may become the Easter egg king. Yes, I might. I'm here to find a serial killer, yes. Um... Werewolf. See, 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 now I have to get changed in, like, you know. Okay. Up there in the sky. Yes. Yes. Sk wallet. Ooh, nice. Sky. Something about a sky and an open of a doors and a werewolf and, and... It's all very cryptic, isn't it? It's all very cryptic. Only the truly smart and clever can figure it out. Or people who have multiple voices in their heads that have lived other lives. Aha! Oh, it probably actually told me that it was room. My work is done. I recognize him.
Okay. Where did the body go? I mean, not that I needed one, but... He did throw a body at me. I mean, I, I feel like it's rude to not take it with me, but apparently I've mislaid it already. Okay. Brothers Salvage. I've... We found a business card from Brother Salvage in Santa Monica at the latest murder scene. The killer is leaving a calling card. Interesting. Okay, anyway. Um, right. So, okay. Fine. Let's go and see Isaac. I mean, I wanted to anyway. I just don't like being told to do it by some... Some idiot. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, End of the alley. Isaac's inside. <sighs> I just, I, I'm, I'm like running out of things to actually do here. I'm... Oh, right, no, there's a critic, a food critic, food critic. I'm stopping for lunch. Supper. Hello. Mm, more flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? Uh, okay. I just wanted to... I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? D um, uh, just exactly who are you to feel you have so much power? Me, Tommy Flayton, that? the food Small authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more Pancake Huts, you'd know me. Probably. Yeah, actually, no, you are the... It'd be hard to eat with no teeth, wouldn't it? No, it, I need to actually persuade him. Uh, just the man I wanted to talk to. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Right. Isn't it in your best interest to pan this place? You've got a reputation to keep and it's terrible here. How so? The food is bad. I, you're becoming the joke of the food world you give... Anything a good... I saw a chef in the bathroom. He didn't even look at the sink. It was revolting. This place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Give him hell, Tommy. Okay, was that long enough? Is he gone? He's gone. Right, excellent. We can now actually do what I wanted to do the entire time, which is to speak to... I no, it's not him. Isaac. I did say I was peckish, didn't I? I mean... Okay. Right. So... Hello, I'm supposed to come and see you. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Yeah, nothing polite, I'm afraid. You tell me one of your goons directed me here. I'm looking... Yeah, no, I'm looking... I'm looking for the Nosferatu. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. Mm. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind. And asking for my help, of all peoples. He's a desperate kind of guy. Have you met him? He's kind of pathetic. Uh, yeah, any idea when I can find them? Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. I don't like where this conversation is headed, even though I know where it's headed, because I've been there so many damn times. Tell me old-fashioned. But this okay. is my barony, and if as you a insist. tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Uh, right, what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week, I paid for a certain item, a movie, 
And this okay. evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? He's a paranoid idiot that you don't want to be seen associating with. But you basically want me to go pick it up so you don't have to, yep? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Kafka! Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? <sighs> marginally. Marginally. I'll head over there, then we can discuss Excellent. it, right? In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, right, okay. So, we gotta go to an internet cafe, which I did see as I passed, uh, by. And find a computer with, is it Joseph K? J, J, Joseph K? Something K. Oh my gosh, is what? you? Everyone was worried sick about oh, you. God. When you didn't show up and, and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Okay, it's not necessarily for fan. Who are you? You're obviously mentally disturbed. Leave me there. Hey. Yeah, no, who are you? I've never met you before, lady. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. D uh, touch that phone and you're dead bit. Okay, I think you've made a mistake. I just moved here. I don't know you. Yet, yeah, no, I, I have no idea who you are talking to about. I, who are you, crazy woman? Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Well, uh, lady, listen, I don't know who you are. Is this some kind of scan? Honestly, Samantha, I'm not him. Okay, you understand, Samantha? Please don't tell anyone you saw me. Crazy bitch, get lost like a... No, yeah, lady, listen, I really don't know who you are. Is this some kind of scam? You're trying to fleece me for cash, aren't you? But your face, you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I, I can't believe it. Oh. Uh, yeah, lots of people look the same. Look around. I'm not there. Have you seen every... Everyone's identical here. It's LA. Everyone follows the trend, gets the same haircut. Goes to the same plastic surgeon, apparently. Wears the same bloody clothes. We all look the same, apart from you. And you look kind of miserable. Gotta be saying, nice suntan, though. Yeah. Sorry. My mistake. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Did I really know her? All right, then. So... What do you think? This music gonna be a problem? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna find anything on these. They, they, they sometimes have some very interesting, yeah. They sometimes have some very interesting uh, things on them, but... Let's have a look. <gasps> A book! How did I know that was there? And why do I get a feeling it's a book I can't use? Oh, dear. Terrible. Such a shame. Okay. I shall check. Right. Think I remember this. Okay. I am so very clever. Joseph! Joseph K! Email! Wasn't it Kafka? Yay! No subject. Virus alert. Read me. <laughs> okay. Meet me in the alley behind the fast book. Okay. Excellent! We have the location. Just, hey, you never know, there might be stuff. Such intuition, much wow. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. That's me. All the intuition. What am I going to do with another snack, though? Hmm. Prefer something a little more, um, bipedal. If at all possible. Okay. Nothing here. Uh, you, um... Yeah? What do you want? Are you the guy with the tape? Isaac sent me. Yeah, yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. Worst liar ever. Come on, I know about the tape. Just give it to me and you can go. Tape? What tape? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I I'm getting the hell out of here. <sighs> Fuck. I'll tell Isaac you wouldn't give him what's his. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. What? <laughs> uh, Nobody cares! Give know. me the tape! I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing... It's sick! It can't be real, but it is! I know it. It's real and it scares the hell See, out of me. See, this bugs me. I've seen everything and I do mean everything, but I hadn't seen this. Therefore, you had not seen it. Well, you know what? Don't be such a coward. It's only a tape. How bad could it be? Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl. The things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. So give me the tape before it gets you, please. Wow, you're even... Pull it together. Pull it. Yes, pull it together. You're losing Every it. place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows, my phone rings. I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. <sighs> Yeah, what's that smell? Did you crap your pants? Hand it over! I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Well... Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Ginger Swan? Huh? What the hell was that? That was me shouting, Ginger Swan! Shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Both what me... The... Me and the rat... Christ. ...watching casually. <sighs> so what do you think? Is it... Don't you be looting the corpse if there is one. It's mine. Ooh. Okay. Severed arm. Pisha will probably appreciate that. Oh, right then. So, Ginger Swan. I wonder what that could possibly mean. For some reason, I'm having this vague recollection. Wasn't she a movie star? I think I read that once in a magazine whilst I was at the dentist. Something like that. Hmm. Ginger Swan. If only there was a place, if only there was a... <sighs> what? What? Is that someone coming? I found... I found him like that. Okay, I uh, didn't get any blood out of him. Um... You going out, mate? Wait, wait! Okay. Okay, can I, can I, I just want to s... Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Okay, right. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh, yes. If only there was a place where I could Google. <gasps> An internet cafe. Why didn't I think of that earlier? And wait. Didn't I see a computer? Earlier with some lists of... The Hollywood Celebrity Database. Oh my God, what a coincidence. Eh, swan, ginger, swan, ginger. Excellent. She was interred in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery Mausoleum. Well, there you go. What a stroke of luck. To the graveyard. Dear friends, to the graveyard. So, we enter in and we wander around looking for something. Something, anything that might grab my vampire enhanced senses and say, come here, loot me. One of these columns of caskets does not have the bronze handles on it. I wonder why that is. <sighs> Inquiring minds want to know, but I'm sure they'll never manage it. I think it's the horror tape. Excellent, we've got a horror tape. Just what I needed. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling this is a tape that is not going to be safe for work, ladies and gentlemen. Be warned. Be warned. What we're about to see may shock you. Hello, old fashioned. I've got you made good time. what you need. Hand me the item. Here it is. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. Welcome, but first. Minion. But first. Okay. Smut. Uh, well, all right. I'll go and take a look around. It should be fascinating to be wandering around Hollywood looking for naughty movies. Yes, indeed. Where to... Am I in the Matrix? Because I am definitely getting those sensations of deja vu. Deja vu. Mm. So, we need to find smutty places. Smutty places. Orga. Yeah, it doesn't sound very smutty, does it? Um... Chili pepper, not smutty. Metalhead Industries. If that's smutty, you're, well, you're kinkier than I can imagine. Asshole, eee, could be smutty. Fast buck definitely sounds smutty. Ooh, the sin bit. Whoa, okay. Thank you. Who's that? Okay. Hello. You look sort of familiar, like somebody I saw in a club once. I didn't like that person. Let's hope I like you more. Hey, you slick. Don't call me slick. Uh, who are you? The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? <sighs> I'm tempted to say you're right, depraved is an eight-letter word, idiot, and then later. But I do have a few questions. I have a few questions for you, Flynn. Yeah? What do you want to know? I want to know how you managed to ask that question and sound sleazy at the same time. Have you ever asked, heard of Death Mask Productions? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? 
I might be in the market for some of their products. Just curious. I need something. I uh, have a tape they made, and I'm trying to find out if it's real. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, and no, I'm going to go with that. A tape? You mean the tape? The tape! You got a copy of it? Have you seen it? Uh, maybe. Look, man, get the hell out of here, all right? I don't want any part of that scene. I hear people seeing that tape ain't been coming home for dinner. I don't deal in that kind of stuff anyway, so just take it somewhere else. Uh, I thought you said this place had everything. You must know something. No, no, I'm not going to ask you twice, Flynn. Tell me how to find DMP. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Okay, I'm not giving him cash. You won't tell me anything. Why can't I? No way, man. No, either you buy something or get out of here. I feel like I'm not intimidating enough. I feel like I'm not intimidating enough. Is it time? Yeah, no, no, no. Definitely, let's go with intimidating. I've rethought our conversation. What can I do for you, Slick? And maybe I can use some of your stuff. Show me what you got. No, I got a few questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? I really need to find Death Mask Productions. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Yeah. You better start talking or I'm going to snuff you, Flynn. Tell me. Uh, okay. Look. All I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, The moon is a terrible mistress, or some creepy shit like that. Okay, and then what? And then all you have to say is, Who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the info. Don't walk home alone tonight. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. I wish I could, Flynn, but I'm in for good now. Go home and change your underwear, and don't worry about me. I may be in... But I'm going to rip it apart from the inside. Probably. Whatever it is. I don't really know what it is, but it's probably going to involve huge amounts of violence. Right. Probably seems a bit weird when a guy comes out of a smut shop saying, I don't know what it involves, but it's probably going to be violence. Mind you, she's probably thinking, okay, one of those guys. Okay. Hello? The moon is a mysterious mistress. You really are a sad person. Who works, who walks the night with demons of dread? The Lucky Star Motel, room two. Don't be long. I'll be there. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Okay, Lucky Motel. Still here, right? Okay, I am. Um, we're gonna do a violence. We are almost certainly going to do a violence. A violence. Will I? I'm visiting my friend again. Don't look at me like that. Right. So, whichever room I pick will be. He said room two, didn't he? Two. Yeah. I. Internet cafe key. Right. Okay. My investigation skill is not particularly high, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say something bad happened here. I'm talking about the wallpaper. 
I mean, somebody just said to themselves, Yeah, that looks good. Let's put that on the wall. I mean, really. Some people have got no idea. Hire a decorator. Okay? Do it. Okay. So, once more... Onto the internet, dear friends. Biological warfare. Are you... That's awful. <laughs> Apparently, my eyesight has... Oh, 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 where are we going? Are you playing? <laughs> Never mind, I'm busy. Um... Uh, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> Indeed. Creepy. I was ready for you. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh. Pick on someone your own size. What? Hello. There you are. Oh. Yeah, I've got claws too. These claws kind of work fairly nicely against these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. Am I mi what? Am I missing anything, do you think? No loot. Oh. Stairs. Almost missed them. Almost. Okay. Out of curiosity, what? What sort of door was that? Oh, right, yeah, no, that's, that's. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does that mean I can, does that mean I can? Can I sneaky through, no. Oh, somebody needs to invent, I don't know, some special sort of gloves that let me pull things through small spaces. Yes, they do, DMP. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Ooh. Gotta be someone else, gotta be. S okay, amped up on Pap Spear. Got it. Are oh, you having a bad day? Yeah, what, the, what the fuck is going on up there? Dead, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, God. Shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't make any noise. They'll, they'll hear us. Noise? Me? I'm a quiet sort of person. Can't you tell? Who are you? You work for DMP? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. no fuck it. Yeah, I'm with DMP. You 5 0? -oh? Not exactly, no. Sorry. What the hell is going on? The, those are the same creatures on your tape. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but, but we didn't make that shit. I mean, one of the guys stole it, found it in the creepy house in the hills. We just copied it and put our names on it. Worse than anything we ever did. Worst thing I ever saw. <sighs> what mansion? Where is it? Please, please, just, just get me out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh. I believe this is this is this is where I say something cool like knock knock and you say who's there and I say karma. Oh and by the way, my friend Karma here? A real bitch! Oh, 
I feel like I should be able to pick up these arms. I mean, like, if I can hit people with human severed arms, why can't I hit them with that? Because that looks like it would hurt far more. Billa like beer. I like beer. Okay. Seriously, I am I I'm failing at jumping. Okay. Got a tape. Got anything else? Gotta get out of here. I see a door that's not been broken open. I was expecting you. <laughs> oh. You hit like a small creature with no legs. Okay. Oh, I thought I could play on the computer. All right. Okay. Never mind. I am right. So I've got no sense of direction. I've got a WP whore. <laughs> Noob camper. <sighs> oh, yeah. Favorite kind of rage. Nerd rage. So. We now have the full tape. Which is still fully not safe for work. Probably. Any luck? I don't need luck. Why do I feel like I've said that to you in a previous life as well? Um, yeah, and those things on the tape, very real. Either that or they've taken special effects to whole new levels. Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. And it... The house in the tape, I know it. It's in the hills, King's Way if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, no. it's unfortunate trapped. that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. Guess I'm heading to King's Way then. Thank you very much, old fashioned. You've been very helpful. I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from the Nosferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading man and march a few of my own troops up the hill to finish the job. Thanks, but I'll, uh, I'll take a cab. If I may give you one final word of warning, do not trust LaCroix. Do not play the damned politics of the Camarilla. This city hasn't needed them in a long time and won't ever. Uh... Who should I trust then? I mean, to be honest with you, I'm with you. LaCroix, definitely, definitely. Uh, I'm just... Basically, it's more a matter of what else am I going to do kind of a scenario. I'm, I'm open to better offers, shall we say. Who then should I trust? That's for you to decide. I only know who you can't trust. Right, that's kind of like everyone, but you know what? I'm going to still be nice. I'll remember that. Thanks very much, Isaac. You've been more than helpful-ish, kind of, sort of. I like him. You know. I mean, when you compare him to the pri- Okay, seriously, show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Buy a watch. I'm a, I, I want to inspect your teeth because, because, miss, I believe you are in violation of the masquerade. Code 12784-9. And you're supposed to pay a fine. 
unless your teeth are not what I expect, in which case, do you want to follow me up that alleyway? <laughs> 